Yeah, good day viewers. Ken here. Welcome to Court Farm. Well, it's not Court Farm. I'll tell you in a sec. Court Farm County Park. Um, Oxygen David's map. And um, I am. I decided to go with the. Um, with uh, this fella over yonder. Whoop. Did I get it? Did I get it? There we go. Well, I want to see if I can start cutting a bit of grass. Um, because the uh, crop is not ready yet. So um, I want to see if I can start getting something done. It's a brand new uh, game save. I have. Uh, Come over here first. Bada bing, bada bong. Fold it out. Yeah, so I've got the Kubota stuff, but I haven't got the Kubota um, DLC for the tractors. And I think we got um, whatever we got, I don't know. Lower. Lower. Right, now I'll switch to the front. Lower and unfold and activate switch to the back activate to the activate yep oh hang on there we go Now we're on. Jeez. Now this thing's got gears in it, apparently. This tractor, so it goes through the gears, it's a bit slow. But it's a good little tractor. It's one of those uh, Z Zitos, Zidor. No, no F on it. Fedos or something? I don't know. I thought I'd do something different than JCBs. My gameplays normally have JCBs in it. 19's got all um, the class in it with the um, on PS4 that is. Because uh, it was, I pay for the class DLC, pay for all the DLCs in it over there. That's what I'm. I'm not going to pay for anything now. You know. It's, Ridiculous. I got the Anderson pack on that and I don't think I even used it once. I got the cotton harvest pack over there and didn't even use it. So. But this is the farm. We're going to have this, um, those paddocks there. Basically, my are going to have my paddocks. We've got some sunflowers in there, got a little bit of wheat I think happening as well. Um, I think that's three of mine. If not I'll have to plant. I did buy uh oh she don't like this hill. Uh, I did buy over there, see the hedgerows? Oh, oh sorry. That shed in that over there, that building. I brought that um little um, house and yards and that there, it looked really nice um, with the fencing and that there so I thought I'll grab those and I was going to do them as farm I like uh, as uh, grass paddocks and stuff but um, yeah then I ran out of money so I had to sell properties I just liked it with the um, gates and that the way they were, it was a really nice house Get rid of that bush. Come around. It doesn't like turning, does it? Get rid of these bushes. Minch them in. Mulch them all up.
so yeah that's the thing I'm, I'm just starting a new um, game plan I'm gonna have this farm at the back here so like quart farms just down over there through the trees um, Port County Park um, so this track basically straight ahead goes straight to the to where they are but I didn't want to I didn't want to just start with the same farm as everybody else always starts with most of them start with this back one anyway but I, I wanted to get um, get underway so then I can go up the back and um, like I can run around and get um, uh, more hay paddocks and stuff like that, straw paddocks. Do some straw by doing crops. I may have to change up this tractor though because it's a little bit slow. Because I've got... Um, I've got to check what days in it I've got on there too because I don't like to run it um, five speed or I might do it for a little bit I think it's on five speed already I oh, know I'm missing heaps it's all right some of the bigger grass paddocks here are going to turn into um, uh, like actual crops just so we can get some more income like I said, there's a lot more grass paddocks around I'm going to require. I'm going to buy them, them ones back over there again. Rent that house out. Story, you know, storyline. Yeah, those ones there. See how they've got nice fences, great gates. You know, we've got three or four different paddocks there. They look really nice. this one you can buy just the farm and not have the um and have that as a house or I was looking at that one right down the back way over the other other corner of the map well it's just got the sheds and those um all those grass paddocks around it I was thinking about doing being the grass man you know the mower guy I think I might have to merge these. I'll work out how to do that. I'll get the thing up later and have a look at it. Merge the outside ones better into the into the middle one. Oh, she's struggling right there, isn't she? But I wanted to fly the orange Kubota, but I don't, don't want to go by the DLC just for, for to get a couple of cat tractors to just run the whole whole lot of my gameplay on um, Kubotas. So I got the implement pack. That's the freebie one from the um, mod hub thing in game mod hub. So I grab them so then I can be using all the implements. Well, most of the implements anyway. Come on bro. Climb a hill. Seven kilometers an hour. I've got it set for kilometers damn. It'd be a lot lower than that in miles. Do the things you do. Come on, do it, do it. <laughs> so beautiful maps. Oxford and David puts out some really good maps there. Um, well, they call them PDA, P PDA maps, like the real life maps. Really top stuff, you know. Top shelf stuff, that is. So I've got cams and um, or cams and farm. Dagon was talking about it all the time during 19, and couldn't wait. The only 
but actually the only reason why I got 22 was to play it. And then he brought this out. If he had an Oakfield Farm on here, that they, they would be the only three maps I would play. Straight up, you know, just that, that's it. I'm struggling over here. Leaf flying bird over there. Crow. They're always running around looking for Mark. Mark. Don't know where he is. Otherwise, they tell them they can wreck off. No, another leaf off. Get out of here, birds. I was just watching DJ go home, too. <laughs> Funny that. Oh. Speed kills, baby. Yeah, so I have, um... Um... Farmer Simulator 19 and 22 on PC now. Um, well, I've had um, 19 for a while, but um, my button box and everything gave up the ghost for because I used it for American Truck Simulator. The heavy equipment bundle, which um, it was from Satex before, uh, that's the one I had, and then it gave, the steering wheel developed a um, uh, the uh, controller drift, you know, when you got the controller drift and it just drifts all over the place and you can't use it anymore. Well, the steering wheel, because it's got the toggle switches and that on the steering wheel, on the heavy duty packet, um, yeah, developed the, the, the drift. So, made the steering wheel absolutely useless. So, um, you know, doing that, I then had to go out and get a Logitech brand new one so I went and got a save up me money and got a Logitech one and um, now I've got the old button box um, we're showing a little bit of struggling a little bit of um, problems with um, on American Truck Simulator so I went and got the new one so I thought oh well I can use the new one now but um, when I plugged it in the other day and had a look at it, but it seems to be working okay again, like the button box, so just needed to um, be stuck with the kit, I think, because I was using a controller on that before instead of the steering wheel. With it, can't get up to the diamond. Lift. Lift. Oh, oh. We're going a little bit quicker. Right, stop. Lower. 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 Thank you. Let's go. See, that's the same as when you're running road trains and that, like on, on 19. Um, I've got a uh, Western Australia map. Takes you half an hour actually to drive from one side to the other with uh, road trains um, in game, in the game itself. Half an hour, 16 times map. She's a top map. WA baby. Yeah, Western Australia is a big one. And then I've got Ningen, which is a um, is it Ningen? New South Wales map anyway, it's up by Walgut, um, which is another New South Wales place. Uh, right, yeah, um, lift those. 
Uh, Foden. Lift. 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 Foden. Alright. Do the thing to do. See, I've got brand new trucks and that on. Um, let me go do the sheep paddock. Just cut her up. Hello. Thank you. Daisy. Yeah, so I'm running road trains and that on there that um, activating like first and second um, cutters and that just then um, with the um, road train. It's it's um, you have to do that. You have to. Uh, tap through all the all the different tra trailers and and dollies and yeah so you got to go the the full round you know you got to go um, if you want to undo the tarps and it on the top of the trailers and start to tip it you have to go past the dolly and then to that trailer then do the action and then go through past the dolly and then to the next one and yeah she's fun she's fun don't you. Go in there and do that little paddock in a sec. So yeah, cutting cutting the grass and in. I've, I've, I have a um, because there's a uh, a um, what do you call it? Um, a silage pit, right? Because it's got a silage pit in that on here. What I want to do is I want to make a whole heap of grass bales and put the grass bales in the silage pit and see if it will actually ferment them. Um, because I watched this uh, Irish guy in real life, um, this, this Irish guy, and uh, and he um, did that at his own own farm. It's not cutting this grass, is it? Um, yeah, he did it on his farm. And I thought, what an ingenious man! And I thought, how how cool is that? You know, in today's today's um, uh, well, we're going to top top this paddock anyway, as they call it, uh, just topping it, so it grows back better. Um, yeah, in today's uh, rubbish world, you know, with all the plastics and stuff on farms and and stuff, I thought, what a what a great idea, just doing. He was doing square um, hay bales, or actually grass bales, and then putting them in his um, uh, silage um, clump, whatever you want to call it, you know, in the silage um, concrete bay. And um, it made perfect sense to me. As soon as he did it, I went, of course, it's all compressed already, you know, with the bales. 
um, 100% quicker than you're fermenting the actual bales, um, like turning them into your silage bales as bales. You know, um, how cool is that? You have to wrap them in plastic and have that plastic hanging around the farm and, you know, trying to work out some way of getting rid of it, like netting and that of um, bales and stuff. I saw, uh, I saw Uncle George on George Saunders' um, uh, photography um, farming. Uh, he had uh, was bundling all up and sent it someplace because they made it into something else. I can't remember what they made it into now. But he was doing all the netting and that, sending it to some place to to make something. I can't remember what it was I was making. But anywho, that's what he was doing. And I thought, what a good way to get rid of uh, the excess farm waste, you know? Excellent way. Um, and it's just a simple thing. A simple thing. Like people get set in their own ways. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> what they say about old farmers. <clears throat> they don't like selling to <coughs> young young people and that and um, with their um, alternative farming ideas and stuff because uh, they're set in their own, own ways from the old country if, you, if you're talking about here. The old British standards and stuff. And, and they wanted to do anything different and they do they get set in their own ways and that so <coughs> doing bales that same particular way and stuff but <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut them and, and bale them as grass bales and then I'm gonna shove them in the um, clump and see if I could um, ferment them that way <laughs> on game. I doubt if you can, but if not, they'll just sit there and rot away. Or wrap them, or whatever, take them out and wrap them. Go, man, go! I'll just go and, go and do this one quickly, this little paddock here, and then I'll have to call it it. That's all we'll have uh, time for today. Because I have to go and start tea and everything. So I can get my daughter fed and everything so she can go to work. Or I'll go drop her off at work. So. Have uh, all the all the tea done and that's so when my missus comes home from work she can just sit down and relax and have a feed while I'm dropping my daughter off. Oh, jeez. Garlic, sausages and vegetables for tea tonight. That's what I don't get with all these vegetarians and they carry on about people eating meat and stuff and it just makes no sense to me because um, you know all, all my kids lives have grown up with um, like they used to come home from school saying oh you've got to have meat and buy veg you know be healthy and that sort of thing and that's what you know they have all the time anyway so you know and when I was growing heaps of vegetables which you wanted to get back into it again um, this year I'm going to set it up and have a whole heap of wicker beds and grow heaps of veg again. Um, yeah, you know, it makes no sense. They're carrying on like cut snakes for no reason. I had to, I had to laugh when I heard um, Tash Peterson, she's an uh, animal activist type person, vegetarian in, in Australia. And uh, rightly so, for, for factory farming and stuff like that is pretty bad uh, for everybody, you know. Um, not just the welfare of the animals and stuff as well, but no one should uh, be supporting it. Now they say about the free range and stuff like that, but what's free range, you know? 
uh, chooks in a shed, um, you know, is that if they can if they can go through a wall out outside and have some sort of access outside, that's free range, you know. So um, depends on what the standards um, of the regulations are. But I had to laugh when her um, boyfriend I was hacking this goat farmer on this talk thing I saw, and. Um, uh, he was saying, oh, you know, we can get all this um, Brazil uh, nuts and that from Brazil and all this stuff imported and that now. It's like, uh, hello. They clear rainforests and stuff to grow that stuff. And I was going, uh, uh, my question would have been to them at the time was, how many acres have you got of vegetables and stuff? And how many, um, you know, what do you grow at your place? Yeah. Quick to buddy judge everybody else but they don't want to do anything to change it themselves my opinion that is that's just my opinion why did I do that wait stop 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 I must have pushed uh, autopilot what do you call it the dude Look at that. that's off front Someone do something. There we go. Up, oh, right now. Boop. There we go. Now we're off. Yes, um, that's a manure pit there, uh, but the silage pit, I thought, I thought there was a silage pit here. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I was wrong. Right, park this up in here and then that's it. Right, there we go. Kivoot, I don't know over here. I don't know if we have got third person like um PC. And that's it. Um Yeah, we've just got some um uh, Kubota sprays, Kubota um baler, quick baler, um tether, a a, a class tipper, like a that's our trailer basically, our grain trailer. Got one of these because it's the cheapest one there is, the Lexus um, Lexion 620. The cheapest everything, that's all I can get for me money. Uh, this trailer is a nice long one for all the bales and stuff. But yeah, that's it. So, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned, like, subscribe, all the rest of that stuff. Um, share it. If you want to have a say about anything, comment below. And then, um, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Have a good one. Stay safe. And uru.